Hello, I'm Fred Schneider and you're tuned into The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The City has recently launched the KC Green Neighborhood Recognition Program to award registered neighborhoods that are committed to sustainability. Winning neighborhoods will receive KC Green Neighborhood signs, an eco kit, recognition in city publications, and more. Neighborhoods may apply to be a KC Green neighborhood until June 3rd online at kcmo.org slash kcgreen. The city's Section 3 office has moved to the Mohart Center located at 3200 Wayne Avenue. Please note, all office phone numbers, email addresses, and fax numbers remain the same. Hi, I'm Anna, reporting for the Weekly Report. Hi, I'm Mason, reporting for the Weekly Report. On Thursday, April 25th, city employees and their children participated in Take Your Child to Work Day. We learned about how city governments works and all of the exciting jobs throughout the city. The mayor also recognized the students at council meeting. Is everybody happy? Yes! Is everybody happy? Yes! Now we're talking. <laughs> Councilwoman Curls. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. T today I rise to uh, welcome young people. Oh, excuse me, Councilwoman Curls. Yes, sir. You guys all know you're on TV, right? Yes. 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 All right, anybody need to fix your hair or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Little towel? <childhood? laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody good? Yes. Wait a minute, give me. <laughs> You may be able to find this on channel two, okay? And then you can watch yourselves, okay? Now, here's, here's what you're gonna do. You're all gonna start walking over there and you're gonna see that guy there with the goatee whose name is not really Troy Schulte. Start with him, each and every one of you, and shake everybody's hands and go around, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. The resolution is now before the council. All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. The resolution is passed. For the weekly report, I'm Anna. And I'm Mason. Signing, Signing off. off. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to tell you about some upcoming events taking place at your Kansas City facilities. Thousands of area students will converge at Bartle Hall for the 9th Annual I Build Construction Career Day on April 30th. Formerly known as Crayons to CAD, the event showcases heavy equipment and other technology so middle school and high school teens can explore career tracks in construction, including engineering, architecture, contracting, and the skilled trades. Plan the wedding of your dreams at the area's largest wedding planning show, being held downtown at the Kansas City Convention Center from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday, May 5th. There in the Grand Ballroom, the Engaged Summer Bridal Show will feature more than 150 experts to help you plan the perfect wedding. For more information, call 816-229-9333. Chihuahua Parade is another fun downtown event happening on Sunday, May 5th at Barney Alice Plaza. All kinds of dressed up dogs are welcome at this noontime procession that hopes to break the Guinness Book of World Records for most dogs in costume. A $5 entry fee per dog helps local animal shelters. Visit kcdogparade.com for more information. Fans of science fiction and fantasy can view original artwork, listen to panel discussions, and shop at a three-day celebration called Spectrum Fantastic Art Live 2 from May 17th to 19th at Bartle Hall. From Friday night's opening party through Sunday afternoon, visitors can mingle with hundreds of talented artists at this unique event. Register and buy tickets at spectrumfantasticart.com. 
to learn about more events taking place at Kansas City's convention and entertainment facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. One of the services offered at the Health Department is our Office of Vital Records, where you can get copies of birth and death certificates. We only provide copies of birth and death certificates for people who were born in Missouri or died in Missouri. These records can be requested by the person named on the document or by an immediate family member, which includes grandparents, step-parents, in-laws, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, but not cousins. Legal guardians, foster parents, and lawyers representing the individual or the family may also request records if they provide documentation of their relationship. For birth certificates, you will need to have the birth name and date, the mother's maiden name, father's name, your relationship to the person, and why you need the record. Missouri birth certificates are available back to 1920 for $15 each. You also have the option, if you would like, to donate $1 to the Jackson County Homeless Fund when you purchase a birth certificate. For death certificates, you need the name of the person on the certificate, the date and place of death, and your relationship to the deceased. Missouri death certificates are available back to 1980, and Kansas City Missouri death certificates are available back to 1910. Death certificates cost $13 for the first copy and $10 for each additional copy. You can also request birth or death records by emailing births at kcmo.org or calling 816-513-6309. Birth or death records can also be purchased online by visiting our website www.kcmo.org slash health and clicking on birth and death certificates in the gray box on the right side. If you have any questions, please call ahead before you come in. Hi, I'm James Garrett, Public Information Officer, Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. The Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department Ambulance Service Membership Plan provides for the prepayment of co-payments for medically necessary ambulance services, for which the patient has financial responsibility. Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department also provides a reduced fee for transports not covered by insurance. The Ambulance Service Membership Plan considers your ambulance bill paid in full once your insurance company pays their part of your ambulance bill to the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department Medical Bureau. The difference between what insurance will pay and the actual amount of the bill can be substantial. But with a membership plan, any remaining expense for a medical necessary emergency transport is taken care of without cost to you. The Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department Ambulance Service Membership Plan is not an insurance policy or a supplement. For more information or to apply online, visit kcfdmembership.org. The 147th Entrant Officer class recently graduated from the Kansas City Regional Police Academy. We thought we'd give you an opportunity to hear one of the new officers explaining what the experience was like. Introducing one of Casey's newest officers, Julie Carpenter. Overall, it was just an amazing experience and it totally superseded anything that I'd ever imagined before. Basically, the stuff that in my training that just was above and beyond, I would say, is the DT training was amazing. Um, I never had so many hours of one-on-one -on -one time. Um, with instructors, they went above and beyond what I had expected. Um, and then when I got to go out on ride-alongs, I got to see how people actually use those, put them into real-life scenarios, and it was um, good getting to see both of them being put together. I believe I was about 15 years old when I wanted, to, when I knew that I wanted to become a cop. And I just saw this female that was out in my neighborhood in Northeast, and I was just really impressed with her. And I thought, man, when I grow up, that's what I want to be. Going out on the street, I'm definitely nervous. I mean, honest to God, um, I'm going to rely on my training. My instructors have been there 100% of the way for me. You know, I feel that they've done an excellent job preparing me for what to expect out there, but I know that this is going to be a completely new experience. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. I just 
want to go out there and you know help people out. Um, I want to be there for people in my community. I want to get back. That was more or less one of the reasons why I wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to get back to my community. I believe the mindset of somebody um, contemplating joining the academy and wanting to become a police officer. I think first and foremost you have to have integrity. You have to come in this ready to work hard. You have to have a positive attitude and every day you have to give it a hundred percent effort. You just have to do the best you can because that's the only way you're going to gain anything from this experience and it's the only way you're going to make it out of this experience. I would absolutely recommend this to Anybody that's got high moral character um, is up for physical fitness and enjoys doing different things. Officer Carpenter is assigned to Central Patrol. If you think you would like to become a Kansas City Police Officer, contact our employment section at 816-234-5400 or visit www.kcpd.org and click on Careers at the top of our homepage. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. This particular fountain represents youth, but I want to warn Mark McHenry, it's not the fountain of youth, so, so, so don't be jumping into it. But there's no better place to be to start summer than at a fountain dedicated to children, and I think others uh, would agree with that. Our parks and rec department um, is a huge reason why Parenting Magazine selected us, ranked us as the 14th best city in the nation to raise a family. Uh, the department operates and maintains 12,000 acres of parkland, 220 parks, 135 miles of boulevards and parkways, 48 fountains, 87 sculptures and monuments, 29 lakes, 100 plus miles of trails and bikeways, 144 ball diamonds, 105 tennis courts, 5 golf courses, 4 museums, and 100 special events and a couple of partridges in a pear tree. <laughs> Those are impressive numbers, and they're impressive numbers that are being handled flawlessly by one of the best parks departments in the country, headed by one of the best directors in the country. That's right. Our parks and the way that we approach our parks and the other things of beauty in this city is one of the reasons why Frommers named us as one of the top ten cities in the world to visit in 2012. They didn't name New York, they didn't care about Chicago, Honolulu wasn't on the list. The only American city was Kansas City. So it's my hope that each of us this summer will take some time to venture out into the city with our children. Show them the great things about this city. Show them our great parks. Show them our fountains. Talk to them about the history of fountains. Explain to them why we're called the city of fountains. After all, that is something that we take a great deal of pride in, and rightfully so. You're not going to find a collection of fountains anyplace else in this country as magnificent and as varied as this, each of which has some sort of a theme or emotional attachment to it that says something about why it's there. It's one of the many things that sets us apart from other cities in this country. Well, it is 